All right. So Patty, this is uh, this is your time. Let's take it away. And uh, I'm going to mute myself so you can uh, have a go at telling us exactly how you're going to do what you're going to do. OK, sounds right. good. OK. Hi, everybody. I'm Patty. And I'm one of the lucky winners of the Zen brushes from Clarice's holiday challenge. And today I'm going to be using the Zen round number eight and the Zen, the Zen eight flat. And I'm going to do a little tutorial on carnations. The colors I'm using for the carnations, I have a mix of opera rose and carmine, one of Clarice's favorites. And then I also have uh, just carmine. And for the greenery, I'm using Undersea Green, which is by Daniel Smith. The other, uh, the other two are by Windsor Newton. But the Undersea Green is by Daniel Smith and it's my favorite green. So I'm gonna begin with the green. And I am going to just, oops, just make a kind of like a U with the green with a little bubble at the end. Take off most of the paint and then continue working that green just to get some highlights and some shadows. And then add a little more green just to get a little darker side. From here, I'm switching to the eight flat. And with the tip or with the corner, I should say, I'm going to get some of the opera rose carmine mixture, which is watered down. It is watery. And then from there, I still dip it in the water, just a corner into the water to water it down more. And from there, I am just going to use the tip or the corner, I'm sorry, and I'm going to zigzag along the green. And then take my eight round, dip it in the carmine, and just add a couple little dots to give it some, some high, uh, shadow or yeah, shadows. Then back to the carmine opera rose with the corner of the eight flat. And I'm going to continue with the zigzagging for my next layer of carnation petals. Then I'm going to take my eight round while it's still wet, add a little more of the carmine dots. My paper dried a little too quickly, so I'm going to wet this down a little like so, and then one last layer with the corner of the eight, the upper rose carmine mixture and zigzagging again, just to get one more row of our carnations, back to the eight round and the carmine, get some dots in here. And then I'm going to use my eight flat and do a technique that I learned from Claris. I'm washing all the paint off my brush, making sure it's, you know, I, I tap it on paper towel, but make it damp. And then I'm just going to go in on the top of the carnation petals and just play with the color to make it look like there's background petals. I really like that technique I learned from her. I think that was fantastic. And then with the eight round, we're gonna go back into our green and starting from the, the bubble part of the, of the greenery, we're just gonna come down and make, oops, make a uh, stem and then from there we're going to do some leaves 
Am I messy? I don't want to be in the way of the camera. No, I'll use my left hand for this. And that's how I do my carnation using my Zen brushes, which I'm really enjoying these Zen brushes. The three quarter flat that came with this kit is perfect to layer watered down watercolors to make a um, sunset or a sunrise. And when you do layer those colors for whichever sunrise sunset you're doing, after that, you can take the, the sharp edge of either the three quarter or the eight with water only and just um, make st stripes, if you will, to act as a sun ray coming up through the through the sky it's it's a lot of fun i really suggest everybody using the eight or the three quarter to see what they can do yeah it's quite fun i like the variety of different um i guess shapes and also sizes that allows you to kind of play around uh personally i think it's great if if it's for people just starting out and don't want to invest a whole ton into um watercolor because you're unsure so it's a great starter kit in my opinion yeah, but I agree with you. This is this is a really nice uh, tutorial. I can I show mine? Yeah, please. I want to see what you guys did. Okay, I'm gonna show mine. I'm just gonna make sure that the screen can go flip the screen because I'm working with like here we go. Oh. Oh, and let me just make sure that I'll add the pin. There we go. Can you see it? Oh, that's beautiful. I loved it, Patty. So simple and so oh. easy to do. I think what I would do is just I would have I should have gone in and added more of the darker pink. So dabbed more pink. I did it twice, actually. So look how it's dried up Ooh. and it's not even that bright. But yeah, I would definitely go in and darken the bottom and I think the inside's okay but nice and loose lovely tutorial thank you well, thank you yes that was fun okay and now next we have Leia hello and I am just going to remove Patty from the pin and add Leia there we go. And remove myself as well because we're looking at you. All right. There you oh. go. Hey, are you seeing my carnations? Thanks, Patty. Gorgeous. This is only the second time I've painted them, so you're a really good teacher. Oh, yeah. thank you. Okay. Lovely. Oh. Like the color combination too. So I'm going to be using the round 10 and round 8 of the Zen art brushes. Those are the two that I'm feeling most comfortable with. Um, mm -hmm. That was also the first time I used my flat. So thank you for giving me something to paint with it, Patty. Oh, wonderful. Okay, so uh, the colors that I'm gonna be using are a purple that I'm gonna mix with a denim blue and a metallic pink. It's my favorite new purple right now, or any purple will do, and a gold if you've got it. Oh. That's going to be for the leaves. So if you have your metallics handy, this is for you. And if you don't, you don't need to use those colors. May okay. I just one comment? Can you take away the cursor from the screen, please? Oh, yes. Thank you. Perfect. So we're doing metallics. Awesome. Yes. All right. So we are going to do a floral that looks sort of like this. So a simple five petal flower. Nice. Okay. We will do three of them. So this is sort of the shapes that we're going to go for using the eight and the center and the leaves, I'm gonna use the 10 for because it has that nice point to it. Okay. So I am going to clean off all that green from my brush and get into my so we're starting off. We're starting off with the eight, correct? Yes, uh, the 10, the 10 for the center because it has the nice point. 
Okay. So I'm going to start with the black for the center, which is just going to be some dots, very much like your anemones. And just dabbing it in a circular motion. And I'm going to put a little ring around with some dots and dabs, just like how you start your anemones. Mm -hmm. Now I'm rinsing off my eight and I'm going to wake up that purple, add some of my pink and um, blue. I have quite a bit of water, so it will be a light purple. Okay. I'm going to drag out from the black dots, belly of the brush, just organic, not really messing with the petals that it forms as I lay my brush down. Okay. Pull that out. Just letting the colors mix. And I'm rotating my sheet around so that I'm always pulling my petals towards myself. Yep. That's easier for me. Now I love how you're getting the uh, rounded edges for your petals. I'm getting more of the straight um, pointed edges for some reason. Can you elaborate on? Oh, you're just kind of doing the two strokes. Yeah. Okay. Two strokes. Really thinking that in. Okay. Well, so for, for some reason, my A is a little bit more dull at the edge. I don't know if yours is. I haven't closely looked at your brushes, but that's what's giving oh. me the shape. Right, it's right. Not right. A very sharp point. Okay. Right. Interesting. Yeah. Mine is very, very sharp. Oh, I'm going to go and get another center going next to it while this is right. still having some wet petals to it. Mm -hmm. So very quick, random, not really thinking about the shape too much, doesn't have to be a perfect circle. I'm letting the petals decide if they're gonna touch or not. Don't really have a plan. So with my eight, making the petals again. And you're really spacing them out as well. Yes. That one decided it wanted to bleed. Mm -hmm. so depending on your paper, your first petals may or may not still be wet. Mine are still wet. So I'm going to switch over to my 10 with the nice sharp point and get into my gold. What I'm gonna do is Add some leafy bits around the edges, touching some petals, going in between, seeing if I can get some bleeds or not. Trying to kind of go between. Oh, that's pretty. Some white spaces. depending on the level of uh, how wet your petals still are, you can get some good bleeds. I like these brushes because I can make my leaves from the outside in 
inside out. It always works out well. I think we might have time for one more flower. Maybe we'll put right there. Yeah, I like I like this effect. It's very cute. So it'll be back to black with my 10 to get that center. Put it right here. And this time I want my flower sort of pointing down and to the left. So my outer dots are gonna help me position my flowers, not putting them all the way around. Okay. okay. My eight. I will make this one a bit darker, I think. Well, maybe two or three petals downwards. That's sort of half a petal. Making this one look a little bit more full. I know these edges are definitely still wet, so the rest will be with the gold and the 10 to capitalize on some bleeds. Mm That's about it for my little demo. I could add these gold leaves forever, so. Yeah, it, it's a very cute effect. I can totally see this being something um, done for a wedding invitation or something or the other, really. A card even. And any type of colors would work with these. Gold goes with everything, as you know. Yeah. Wow. And I can actually see this would be a nice incorporation in the carnation as well. If we had, yeah, gold leaves, you could do some gold leaves in the carnation too. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to show mine. Patty, you want to show yours as well? Sure. And Leah, the, the half flower that you did, that's the first time. I've been successful. Oh, thank you, Pat. Hold on, I'm, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna pin yours, Ooh. Patty. There we okay. go. Very nice. Beautiful. Love I, it. I was oh. on mute when I did that half flower. I was hooting and hollering. <laughs> <laughs> well, I learned my half flowers from Claire's. Well, we all kind of learn from someone and somewhere and practice always, always takes us to the next level. So uh, let me just add this as a pin and my face as a pin. There we go. Okay. So that was our mini session, guys. Thank you for joining. Thank you. Um, Thank you for and, having us. Uh, I, I hope everyone watching has learned something. And uh, I don't know, I just thought it was fun to kind of let's let's give the stage to someone else and let's just have something mini fun to do um mm -hmm. so um tag us all tag us all when you post it on social media so we can all see it uh leah's fabulous purple flowers with the um metallics and then patty's carnations ladies do you want to just mention your handle really quickly 
Instagram, I'm at Patty underscore in underscore San underscore Diego. Okay. I, I will mention that I will mention your handles in the description of this video as well. So people can mm -hmm. just get to that directly if they, if they're having a problem finding you. Cause I, I can't remember if you're private or not, but no, tag I'm not. Guys and let's just see, let's just see what happens. Leah, what's your handle? Palacios.paints. If you need to spell my last name, it's down below. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Well, Thank you so much for joining ladies and I will uh, end this here. Um, have a lovely Sunday guys. And we're actually watching this with you guys having popcorn and maybe even painting and doing our own thing. So you'll see us post on our social medias about it as well. So I'm gonna end this recording right here and bid everyone a lovely, lovely Sunday. Bye, Bye guys. <laughs>